going? Hope y'all had a good week this week. Yes. Glad y'all are tuning in again. Very good. We will be talking about choosing him, not him, and choosing her oh, through ooh. him. Yeah. Good concept. So, so um, now listen, guys, don't cancel out watching the video because you think we're going to be beating up on you or it's just basically just for girls because this is not. We're just, that's a really catchy title if you think about it. Um, basically, we just want to talk to girls and guys. And first, we'll start with girls. And just don't have your identity wrapped up in a guy. And that's what we want to, that's what we're saying by loving him. Find love in him. Don't try and find love in him. Because if you try to find love in him, it's not going to work out. And you're going to be left brokenhearted until you find the right man that God puts in your life. So, um, just, Sadie? But it really goes both ways. Because, like, even, we're just saying that because we're girls. And so, we're going to a guy. But it goes for guys, too. Just like mm -hmm. in a girl, you need to go through God to get to her. And if you go through God to get to her heart, then it's going to be a better relationship because y'all are in it for the right reasons. And some people do this. They put, like, themselves here and then their girl or their guy here and then God right here. Mm -hmm. And it's like triangle. And if you both go to God, it's a perfect relationship. And, I mean, a lot of teenagers nowadays are in relationships for the wrong reasons. And that's kind of leading into purity and stuff. Just be pure because... It saves you from a whole lot of trouble in life. Mm -hmm. Like, a whole lot of trouble. It's just that, I don't know. <laughs> it's an awkward, touchy subject. Just stay pure. It's a good decision. And if, you, if you're not pure, that's okay, because God still forgives you. It's mm -hmm. not any different than any other sin. It's not different than me telling a lie. I mean, we all sin. It's just another one. And we're just saying, it's just choices you make in life lead into um, problems that you face later on. And just for the ladies right now, if your identity is wrapped up in a guy, just take a step back and realize that. I will go ahead and admit that if you would have caught me a year ago, I would have been like, oh my gosh, if I don't have his approval, then I'm not worth anything and all of that. And I just didn't realize that the only real love I need to find right now at this age is from God. And that's how I'm just going to be satisfied and just be like, wow, I don't need his approval on if I look pretty today or if this looks good or anything like that because I'm confident enough in my relationship with Christ that I don't have to worry about what he thinks. And I know that if he doesn't like it, well, you know, then he's not the one for me and God's going to bring someone greater. So just stay true to yourself and just know that God has someone for you and God made you the way he did and you are just perfect in his eyes. And just don't doubt yourself. I have a Bible verse. Um, it's Psalms 139, 13 through 14, and um, it says, You created my, my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Just remember that whenever you're doubting, oh, you, you know, oh, man, what if he doesn't like this or anything like that? Because trust me, that God cares about you, and that's just all you need to focus on. And guys... Stop trying to impress the ladies by lying about how far you've gone or anything like that. Because trust me, it does not impress us if you've, you know, it's really not gotten cool. jiggy with it with a few too many. So it's not cool at all. <laughs> yeah. So just, oh my gosh, but girls out. too. <laughs> but the thing is, like, this is referring to guys and girls. If you're going through God to do. I mean, not just in a relationship, to go through anything, it, oh my gosh, it changes your life. Mm -hmm. Just seek God's approval before you seek the world's approval, and it'll change your whole life. I promise you that it'll change you. It'll change the way you look at things. It'll change mm -hmm. your actions, your attitude towards people, and people will notice a difference in you, and you're more of a likable person, someone that they want to be around. So you think that they want to be around you because you're doing all the things of the world, but no, mm -hmm. the right people want to be around you because you're different and you're showing them something that they've never seen before. It's just the whole concept of the new different and we just really hope that y'all get something from these videos and please, please, please spread the word and retweet because mm -hmm. 
and Facebook, anything that you have, talk about it because we want to get this message out to everyone so they see a new difference. Yeah. Um, if you guys would, we would love to read your comments about topics that you guys are interested in hearing us talk about. Yes. So leave the comments or tweet us things or topics or anything you would like and we would love to know that. Um, one other thing, I was at an appearance a few weeks ago and I met this guy who asked me, could you hold up this sign? And this is what the sign said. And I was like, oh, what's this for? And he said, well, there's this little girl named Destiny and she found out 17 months ago that she has bone cancer. And so um, it just, you know, totally changed her world. And so she's been struggling with that and having to fight through that. And so every time somebody takes a picture with this sign, it raises more awareness and that's what destiny's goal is she wants to make people aware that hey kids get cancer too and so just if you guys would just you know post a picture with this sign on the facebook page there's a link right down here somewhere not sure where our cameraman's going to put it but it's <laughs> over here click on that go follow them post a picture with you holding that sign go tweet it do all that you can just to raise awareness and september was um childhood cancer month so just be aware. So love you guys. See you next week. Thank you for watching.